Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be doing a ranking video of the symbiotes in Marvel Contest of Champions. So, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 symbiotes in the game. And uh, I think that some of them are very viable champions and very reliable. And I think that some of them have gone the wayside and are certainly pieces of garbage. And by those some, I mean the two that I'm going to start off with in the bottom of the list, starting with number 8, Agent Venom. So, Agent Venom looks very cool. Uh, no doubt about that, all the symbiotes look super cool. But looks aren't everything. Uh, this guy has no synergies of any value at all whatsoever. Um, they're all garbage from back in the doo, doo days when synergies didn't really matter. Um, but aside from that, he has, uh, you know, he's got some damage over time. He's got incinerates, he's got uh, bleed, but these are not very potent at all. Um, comparing, I guess comparing any bleeds to Nick Fury's uh, is kind of a futile effort because he does have the highest bleed damage pretty much in the entire game. Uh, I could be wrong about that, though, <laughs> but compared to any champions, his bleed is pretty bad. I I would imagine it's probably even worse than um, uh, Joe Fixit, and he's, like, a very trashy champion. But still, you know, aside from that, pretty much all that he's got is really this uh, tenacity, and it's a 70% tenac uh, tenacity uh, that it can definitely make him an annoying defender sometimes, but um, with... You know, other skill champions in the game who can, uh, I think, reduce defensive ability accuracy, I believe that can counter tenacity. And there's also a, a Big Daddy Apocalypse who shuts this guy down with no effort at all. And, you know, uh, there's also uh, Bishop who can do the same thing pretty much just as well. Um, but yeah, if you throw away that tenacity, um, which is not very, uh, it's not a uh, super dependable offensive ability it's more for defense uh he's really got nothing except very unimpressive damage and yeah that's that's pretty much all for this guy he's he's number eight he uh, could use a buff so yeah on to number seven spider-man symbiote so this guy looks really cool I'm probably gonna say that about every single symbiote because i myself i'm a personal fan of the symbiote uh symbiotes in general in marvel they are so sleek they are so awesome um and yeah th this guy is no exception he looks super cool his animations are super cool no question but he has garbage synergies literally who's going to use any of these champions in any situation maybe i will admit uh maybe i could see people using electro for certain cheese paths or something you know pair him with Heimdall and stuff, uh, but really, this this synergy is pretty much useless, because this guy um, sucks, there's no other way to put it, um, Storm, by far, if she's a horseman, is the best out of all of these, and I'm not trying to underrate her, it's just that, honestly, um, no one has any reason to bring this guy, Spider-Man symbiote, into any content whatsoever, um, the only redeeming factor that I think makes him uh, slightly ahead of Agent Venom is his synergy with Red Goblin and so that synergy allows him to pretty much infinitely stack his armor breaks um, which can pair quite nicely with his special 2 which has a 100% critical hit chance so you know he's capable of some pretty awesome damage but uh, there are definitely champions in the game now that are capable of even more damage and have leagues and leagues of utility far beyond the skies so yeah, he's, that's why he's number seven. Very garbage champion. Um, super cool, though. So, I mean, I hope I hope he gets buffed one day. Certainly not before uh, OG Spidey, though, in my opinion. Just because I have a stake in that, as I will show you really quickly. Um, don't you worry, this will be quick. Um, I certainly have a stake in who gets buffed, and they better buff Spider-Man Classic first. So, anyway off of that little tangent uh let's get back to the symbiotes and <laughs> what this video is about all right so he's number seven um so after that i feel like the symbiotes definitely improve uh in the list they definitely all have their own uses however niche they may be uh 
the spot right after this I feel like uh, is one of those exceptions though where it's like you know he's not the greatest champion but in his ideal ramped up state he can be really good uh, this number six spot is Venom the Duck so I feel like Venom the Duck used to be quite an awesome champion back when Act 5 uh, and Act 6 were still the the two major forms of content you know uh, when when more people were uncollected than they are now uh, this guy was destroying the 5.4 Ultron boss you know he is really good for certain fights where you have a lot of armor buffs on the opponent because of his top toxic armor effect um, via special 2 which is very awesome for certain robot fights I think that he is definitely a really fun counter to a lot of robots capable of some awesome damage he's also got access to his uh, RNA buffs with uh, you know as I said they they grant him damage but also they get, they can grant him uh, regeneration which can stack and it gets really awesome uh, until you realize the fact that they all the buffs expire so quickly that is one of his main weaknesses um, if he had a a way to pause his buffs if he was in the duration I mean, if he was in uh, close proximity to his opponents, like Odin's ability, I think that could make him much better than he is right now. Uh, but I also think it couldn't just stop right there. They'd have to improve his uh, his RNG dr dramatically. Um, he does have uh, certain synergies. Pretty much the only two synergies that matter are his um, genetic code survival synergy and his genetic uh, recode uh, aggression Sorry, I meant a genetic recode survival as well. Uh, and, the, and these increase the probability of you getting uh, an RNA buff that's more suitable as an offensive champion or as a defensive champion. Um, but yeah, RNG is a big factor in this guy's play style. Sometimes when you can get lucky, he is capable of some awesome things. But um, I think he definitely has lost a lot of his usefulness over time. Certainly not a bad champion, but he doesn't count symbi uh, he doesn't count hashtag Spider Verse heroes too well. Um, he's very RNG, RNG dependent, and his his main domain that he used to be quite a good option for incursions um, has kind of moved on without him. With the super cheesy global buffs that really make a lot of different champions good incursions champions. Yeah, this this guy Venom of the Duck, he is number six, right? Yeah, six. He's number six. He's a good champion. Uh, his designs are awesome, as <laughs> I said with most symbiotes. But, you know, he's just he's really fallen off over time. Um, so after him, I would have to say the next champion on the list is Carnage. Um, and some might be arguing that Carnage is above this spot on the list, number the number five spot. Uh, I could see how you might think that. He definitely has really awesome damage potential, and his unblockable specials are very helpful. But other than that, he really doesn't have much else utility aside from his awakened ability, which allows him to gain power whenever the opponent is bled or poisoned. I mean, uh, or armor broken. Sorry. Uh, he definitely does rely on the Red Goblin synergy also, which makes his ramp up much, 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 much faster. Um, without it, he is really a nuisance to play. Uh, because as it is, having to wait for the, uh, what is it called, the 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 timer that uh, locks in your buffs to go th past without getting uh, hit in your block and, you know, getting the defensive uh, buff, the physical resist, th that can be a very annoying part of his ramp up, uh, part of his ramp up, but, you know, he's certainly not bad. I definitely think he's more reliable than uh, Venom the Duck just though that he mainly has damage and that's kind of it you know his damage can be a big part of his utility though i've seen carnage do some magnificent stuff in the labyrinth of legends but really aside from his unblockable specials and his high damage he is not uh, one of the best symbiotes in my opinion uh, there are still four more places for those four champions who are i think quite significantly better than this guy still though i think he is a really solid addition to this game and a really solid cosmic uh, champion I do I think he could get a buff maybe maybe slightly give him a clintar buff and maybe give him some kind of uh, 
power lock or something. I don't know, some kind of ability that gives him access to a wider range of usefulness, and he could be easily a very solid champion. As it is, though, I think that he is... Uh, He's he's an all right champion. Don't get me wrong. I love Carnage. Uh, it's just that he mainly has damage, and that's that's kind of it. Because uh, unless you're fighting an auto block champion where you need unblockable specials, he, that's not really enough utility in my book to really uh, have him make the cut as a very awesome uh, cosmic champion. Though again, it's it's very conflicting for me to say this, but I think that he is also, he's still a really good cosmic, a really good, uh, symbiote, so a lot of what I'm saying probably contradicts, uh, the thing I said maybe five seconds ago, but, yeah, he's a really good champion, um, pair him with Red Goblin, you'll have a blast, I'd like to see, though, where he could be used effectively, I just don't really think that there are many places where he absolutely shines as a champion and as a symbiote, but, you know, he's a solid addition to the game, and that's why he's number uh, five. So, number four, the top four symbiotes are harder to decide because I think that they all have their own uses uh, in certain aspects of the game. Um, but number five is going to be Symbiote Supreme. Now, before you go on uh, <laughs> pointing fingers accusing me of not having this guy as even a 5 or 6 star, uh, which I don't. Uh, let me just say that I do know his abilities enough to make a relatively informed decision, um, and what I've decided is that he is, number f he is number 5 because he mainly works well against other cosmic champions with buffs, or just other champions of different classes with buffs. You know, that's where he really shines. It allows him to get uh, to his damage ramp up much quicker. Um... Overall, though, against most fights, I feel like he's just an average champion. He is He's a solid mystic and a solid symbiote. He just doesn't have much else going for him other than his bleeds and his occasionally pretty cool damage. Um, but he, he's almost like Human Torch in the sense that he specializes in a certain area of the game. Specifically for Symbiote Supreme, he specializes against buffed up champions. But uh, in, in this case... Unlike Human Torch, who has a slew of other utility, uh, his this guy's Nullify is really his main thing in my book, and his Bleeds are the only other thing that carries him uh, to the spot. Though I do feel like his um, some of his abilities, like uh, the ability to passively gain power over time, uh, and his, uh, his, his ability to Nullify and Stagger, are quite reliable, and slightly surpass in usefulness uh, Carnage's abilities, so I, I do feel like he is a solid champion. I don't think that he will probably get buffed because he is good enough. He is a well-rounded character, well-rounded well champion, but there isn't really much else that I can say about this guy. Um, very solid mystic, uh, and yeah, that's why I think he's number five on this list. So number four, uh, this is a hard choice. Um, hold on a second. Wait a minute. I think I screwed up. So number eight was Agent Venom. Seven, Spider-Man Symbiote. Um, six, Venom the Duck. Five was Carnage. Four was Symbiote Supreme. Okay, so there are three more champions on, on this list. Sorry, yeah, not four. Okay. So the number three spot on this list, I think, goes to Venom Pool. Um, Venom Pool got a really cool buff, in my opinion. I think, though, one of the major flaws with his buff is that, like Guillotine 2099, um, he does take more time to ramp up than is often worth his usefulness. Uh, the exception, though, with Guillotine 2099 being that the payoff is much more utility, arguably speaking. Not to say that this guy doesn't have good utility, but, uh, you know, obviously Guillotine 2099 is on a different level than all the symbiotes. Um for utility and damage reasons, but still, um, the problem with him is that he doesn't really have a persistent charge ab ability that allows him to carry his damage between fights, so it makes it so that every fight you have to really ramp up and get to the damage, which can be excellent, don't get me wrong, it's just that that ramp up itself can be very tedious, and uh, it, it makes it so that for a lot of the fight, you're just fighting with a below par symbiote. 
Um, he has access to really great buffs. Uh, Nullify. Uh, you know, he's got really potent bleeds. Overall, I think he's a really good champion. You know, like, not really, really good as in, like, Dr. Doom level good or Cosmic Ghost Rider Hercules or something. But, you know, I think he's a very well-rounded champion. And I'm a big fan of his buff. I could see taking him to rank 2 or maybe even rank 3 just for the fun of it. But I do feel like unless they make content, uh, unless Caban makes content that caters to uh, champions like this that take a lot longer to ramp up, really, I don't really, I don't see how he's going to um, age extremely well. He, he might age really well, though, for all I know. Um, obviously, like, in Act 7, there are health uh, pools now above 500,000, but usually they have very cheesy nodes that allow you to quickly get the fight done like like that. Um, and so that's where I don't know exactly how he will do in, future, in the future, but, you know, being that he's a very recent buffed champion, there's not much that I can say about his usefulness just yet, though... Definitely stay tuned because, you know, I'm sure I'll probably find something that I'll enjoy using him in, and then maybe I'll take him to rank two. Uh, but for now, I think he's at a very solid spot in the uh, third best, or you know, the the number three spot. He's a very cool champion, and yeah, I'm so happy that he finally got buffed. He's always looked very cool, and now he's got some stuff to back him as a solid champion. So, number two, I believe, uh, for the symbiotes, is Red Goblin. So, having seen some gameplay by MSD and Bureau Man, uh, this guy definitely, I think, earns the number two spot, just in that his damage alone is so reliable and it's so <laughs> excessive that he is he's one of the only symbiotes that can actually do... is I, I think he might be the only symbiote that's capable of a... Uh, of an abyss solo which is crazy um he's a very good uh tech counter just like most symbiotes are but he does uh what a lot of the other symbiotes do better with his armor breaks and uh, incinerates uh you know he's got high block proficiency unlike pretty much all of the other symbiotes uh, which are either small or are xl champions and typically those two demographics of champions have the lowest block proficiencies compared to others um, but he also has really good synergies, like the Carnage one that I mentioned, which makes him ramp up much quicker. Uh, he's got the Symbiote Spidey one, which makes him have uh, actual damage and an actual purpose in the game. Uh, and then he makes Iron Patriot slightly, you know, slightly usable. Uh, I don't have access to this synergy fully, because I don't have Iron Patriot as a duplicated 5 or 6 star, so I don't have access to Arc Overload. But, you know, uh, he's got reliable synergies uh, at least that can be you know used for fun but also he's just got some solid utility with his uh, incinerate and power burn immunity and uh, uh, hashtag spider verse uh, ability accuracy reduction of evade and you know he's he's got some uh, pretty good abilities um, I think he also yeah he also by he can bypass miss in auto block which is pretty nice um, but yeah so very awesome champion I will admit, I don't know too much about him other than that he's capable of some awesome damage and he has some very solid utility, uh, but yeah, who, know, who knows, maybe in some people's opinion he could be the number one spot. I certainly think that he's underrated, but yeah, uh, for now he is the number two spot. And so for the number one spot, we have the King of the Symbiotes, uh, Venom. He uh, still holds up surprisingly well in this game. Um, I think he's been buffed for about two to three years, and still people are finding uses for him. Um, he's the king of the variants, arguably, uh, you know, because he's XL. He is a Spider Verse character, so he can be used in the uh, in variant five. He can be used in the villain uh, the villain variant. Um, yeah, he's just got so much going for him. You know, he's got his uh, Clintar buff, which allows him to deal with. Um, Spider-Verse characters, their evade. Uh, I don't think it's as reliable as uh, Venom Pools, though it, it is nice to have it active almost instantly. Um, the one downside about his Clint R buff is that it uh, refreshes every 9 seconds, uh, which 
leaves it susceptible to being um, nullified by uh, Buffet, but still, you know, it's a very reliable ability. There's only been, like, one boss fight in recent years that I can think of, and it was, like, a Spider-Man boss in the Cavalier event quest, I think, that had Buffet and increased evadability accuracy, so, you know, it shut him down unlike you usually... Unlike usual, because, you know, Venom is usually the number one counter, arguably, to uh, Spider vs. Evade. But, yeah, he's got, um, he's got all right synergies. I'm sure he has some synergies with other champions that I'm just, I don't remember. I know he has a really good synergy with Mr. Negative that makes him a regeneration machine. Uh, as it is, though, his, his regeneration abilities are pretty nice. Not as good as, uh, Venom pools, which are, uh, he has a 55% uh, chance to steal a buff and, uh, heal with each hit of his special one. Uh, whereas Venom Pool has a 75% chance, so it, it is a noticeable difference. But he also has that uh, lower 18% health phase where he has True Strike and Unblockable Special Attacks, which is nice. And also his Armor Break on his Heavy Attack is super effective. Uh, is super useful, I should say. Makes him a great Emma Frost counter, Killmonger counter, Guardian counter. You know, he's very effective for that purpose. And he's got very reliable bleed and just critical damage altogether. He also has uh, armor up buffs, which he can gain access to, um, which allows him to counter. As far as I'm concerned, the main counter that I can think of is. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, the main counter that I can think of that he is uh, pretty good for is uh, Havoc because of the uh, plasma damage or whatever it's called. But yeah, overall, he's he's a very s solid champion. I think he's probably still in the top five uh, Cosmics, arguably. Um, Hercules definitely offset that list a little bit. Uh, I still think that Captain Marvel movie is a little bit underrated nowadays. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a whole different story. Anyway, I, I think he is the number one symbiote. He's the king of the symbiotes still. And, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative. If you're a lower-level player uh, trying to decide who to rank up, keep in mind that aside from Agent Venom and Spider-Man symbiote, who are absolutely useless in the game, in my opinion, um, the other symbiotes like Carnage, uh, Symbiote Supreme, you know, Venom Pool, Venom the Duck, they're all useful for their own things. So definitely make sure before you judge a champion, uh, read their abilities, you know. I think sometimes uh, the problem with modern tier lists is that they disregard some champions' abilities or they oversimplify them to the point where they can be underrated or overrated. Um, I think that Strife, for example, uh, <laughs> now I'm making this a political thing, I think that Strife is a little bit underrated nowadays. Uh, people think that he needs Apocalypse where he doesn't. If anything, I'd say that he relies more on Professor X. But, you know, it's it's almost like uh, how people pair Colossus with Omega Red. You know, two two good champions together, two great champions together, sorry, um, often is not very much of a tax uh, when, you're, when you're looking for uh, something good on the team. Sorry, that doesn't make sense. Um, but what I mean is when you have two champions like uh, Strife and Professor X who pair together so well, uh, I really feel like you don't, notice one as a hindrance to the other both do their own things but one can maybe benefit more like strife from their pairing uh anyway what i just want to say is uh you know even though some of these symbiotes might not be as good in my opinion as others uh for certain situations they might be better than like for example uh red goblin might be better than venom for a certain fight uh, what that fight might be, I don't know, maybe an Abyss fight, <laughs> but, yeah, not, no, cha no champion is objectively, uh, better than the other, uh, but experience-wise, from what I've, uh, experienced in the game, as someone who has explored Acts 1 through 5, uh, has completed Acts 6, and has explored Acts 7, Chapter 1, and Chapter 2, these are just the champions that I believe are, uh, in, this is just the rating that I would put them in. Uh, I've also completed the variants, except for variant 1, which is a bitch. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, th sorry for the long ramble. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, tier rating. 
this might be the first of many. Uh, hopefully, this video wasn't too long. If you uh, stuck around for some of it, uh, give me your thoughts on what you think uh, your favorite symbiote is. I definitely think that they all have their own uses, and some are more fun than others. But yeah, this is just my opinion, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. See you later. Peace.